just a solid lap. Nothing looked out around. It just, you could tell the speed, the momentum. Looked like a slot car going around the track. No stopping and going that you see out of a lot of the cars. Here's another SHR car way up out of the groove. Noah Gregson, very loose. Just like we saw with his teammate. Gregson was seventh in the Open last year, and uh, as we mentioned, won the fan vote. Clint, did you, ever, did you ever run anything here at Wilkesboro whatsoever? No, sir. I mean, I even go back to the 80s and the 90s. The drivers I worked with when we would come here said they would have to acclimate themselves to not overdrive turn one going downhill. Well, as I was going to say, why is that? Because that downhill, man, he's way up out of the groove again. Two SHR cars in a row, Josh Berry, Noah Gregson, very loose. Now Bubba Wallace raced into the All-Star race through the Open in 2019. Rode my Harley around here. Does that count? It really doesn't, does it? They need two more tires and wheels. O official and unofficially, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> once we were supposed to, once maybe not. I mean, Paul Call didn't come out and run you off. Maybe uh, caught him on a coffee break. Not a great lap for Bubba Wallace, 11th quickest, 18.58 on lap one, looking a little better here on lap two. Right there through the middle of three and four and off. Overdriving a corner. A lot of them. Picks up to sixth, however. Easy to do here. Next up will be Chase Briscoe, who's in the open for the first time since 2021. He's also a two-time All-Star. Another SHR car loose, skating out from underneath of him. Have to right be disciplined. Down yes, sir. Be disciplined getting into the corner. It's the only thing you can do. Try to give up a little bit. Get the most out of this lap. If that thing jumps out from underneath of you, it's over. Try to keep the car underneath of you. Got in the corner plenty hard again. Was able to get it rotated. This time did not come out from underneath of him. If he can get it together down here, this should be a good lap for him. Stayed right on the bottom of the racetrack. Good job right there. That car rotated well. Yeah. It's going to be way better. Well, it picks him up to eighth which means uh, Ryan Priest, currently third, will be the best of the four SHR cars in qualifying. Two cars to go. Alex Bowman has twice transferred into the All-Star race from the Open. Same scenario. Look how much harder he's getting into the corner, shoots up the racetrack, loses the time getting rotated back to the throttle. Same exact thing 13. that we've seen with everybody. Look at that, way deeper into the corner, shot up the racetrack, now he's in trouble. Whoa, keep it out of the I, wall. I've had enough. Yep. One and done. All right, so Austin Dillon knows he'll be on the front row. Will it be inside or outside? Ty Gibbs is the final open qualifier. He finished second in last year's open to transfer. A lot of rain on that windshield. Last car to go out. Just saw that 48 get out from underneath of him. This track's starting to get shiny here, guys. Yeah, yes, he's way up out of the truck. Track he's is wet. Well. Track is wet. Well. Yep. NASCAR's too wet. Sure is. And Gibbs will abort his run. What do you do about that? Didn't get them all. Well, it's up to NASCAR if they declare qualifying if completed. Wet. He can't. He didn't run a lap. Yep. Now, I wouldn't have pulled around here, but that it doesn't matter. The track's wet. It, he shouldn't have. That's too wet. Gibbs 25 seconds as uh, a light rain begins to fall. Well, you made a lap. It's exactly what he just said. He made a lap. He wants him to be official and be on the pole of this thing. But So we're waiting for NASCAR to determine whether or not this open qualifying session is official, if it is. Austin Dillon and Justin Haley will start on the front row for the open. If NASCAR declares this session not completed, then driver points will set the starting lineup for the open. That's a hard decision. The only thing I did not see, that, that would have been complete lap one, and the flagman did not throw a white flag when Notice. he came down the front straightaway. Notice the exact same thing. So Tony you could tell somebody was in his ear. The and he spotter was, up there uh, selling his case to the NASCAR official, which was the track was too wet to qualify, and we did not have that opportunity. For a qualifying session to be completed, every driver must have an opportunity to make a qualifying lap. I'm going to tell you it was wet for that 48 car that shot up the racetrack, too. 
Now, I'm not too sure, maybe even a car or two before him. So, 48 and 54 will be allowed the chance to re-qualify because of running on a wet track. They will have another opportunity uh, once this hopefully brief shower passes by. They'll get another chance at the clock. Fair's fair. That's that's the right call. Agreed. So Austin Dillon will have to wait a while to find out if he is on the pole for the All-Star Open. So while we wait out this uh, little bit of liquid sunshine, we'll take a break from North Wilkesboro Speed. 